Leia here of Raw Wanderlust, just chilling in my room, getting some work done. Yeah, I'm getting some work done. <laughs> uh, with the city of Cusco behind me, it's a beautiful, beautiful view from my room. I have a view and I have Wi-Fi, which are the only two things I need in life. I'm entering my third week here in Cusco. The first week I was here, I was with friends, which was a super, so much fun. I had a really good time hanging out with them. And because I was here last year, I already know the city pretty well. And I, I just thought it was really fun to show them some of my favorite parts and enjoy it together, you know. And now I'm by myself, which I also really enjoy. And I, it's not like I'm actually really by myself because I do know people here and I have friends and connections here. But when I want to be alone, I can be alone, and it's really easy and simple, and I'm really, really enjoying that. Really enjoying some independence, some some work, some writing that I'm doing. Just kind of throwing myself in creatively to, to what I love to do, which is write. I'm going to be filming around the city so you guys can check out why I love this city so much, because it is so special. I, I just love, love, love this city. Buenos días, estoy en camino al mercado San Blas where I'm going to have them fill up this two liters of emptiness with two liters of mango goodness. My friend Anna was here from Brazil and she turned me on to this. You can do it at the market. They have juice stands for like less than three bucks. So I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys over a month ago on the street asking to sell me something like everyone here wants to sell you something and I said I'm sorry I'm sorry I can't I can't I had a really good conversation with them good good practice Spanish with with kids but I just was like no I can't I can't and then I saw them again today I see them everywhere all over the city <laughs> and I said no I'm not gonna buy anything but if you want I can buy you some food so I'm buying them a crepe Good morning, buenos dias. The sun has come up like it always does around seven in the morning, blazing through my window. And today I decided to take the opportunity to actually wake up and not oversleep. And it was a good decision because I've done a lot already. I've edited a video for you guys. I've studied some Spanish, it's been good. And right now I'm about to embark on my morning pages, which is an activity in the book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I knew about this book before and I'd actually done all of the processes, all of the workbook stuff in it, and I garnered a lot from it years ago, and then I forgot about it, and then I just got reintroduced to it from a friend who discovered it all on her own, and was telling me about some of the benefits she's been getting from doing the exercise in this book. It's basically a book designed for blocked artists to fuse like your spiritual and your creative side, and to help you become unblocked, which is something that I've struggled with a lot since I've been here in Cusco. The first like half of my time here, I I was not doing what I came here to do, which is to write my book. And I had other things to do and see, and, and I was being productive in my own way, but I was really frustrated because I just was not inspired to work on the reason I came here to work. Um, so I started doing these morning pages, which is basically where you just dump your thoughts first thing in the morning, three pages every day. That's it. That's the only requirement is three pages. There's no time limit. There's nothing. It's just three pages. I found that it really helps me just get everything that's on my subconscious out. And I write the most random shit ever, but I don't read it. I don't reread it. I just put it out there and let it be. And maybe at the end I'll reread it all, but I just don't even worry about it. And then it sets me up for the rest of the day being really clear and just, just being able to do whatever I need to do. So after I do my morning pages, I usually walk down to the Sun Blast Market 
get my breakfast, get my big juice for the day, talk to my two favorite women there. I practice my Spanish with them conversationally. It's really, really good opportunity. And from there, I find a cafe. I've had a lot of fun exploring the city and just finding new places every day that I like, new Wi-Fi, new atmosphere, new coffee or tea or whatever. Just finding the places that I really like in the city because there's so many little niches and you don't need to go to Starbucks, you know. Starbucks is good sometimes when you need it, but I, I prefer supporting smaller businesses. And this project that I'm working on, this book, is basically a rewriting of my journal from the year 2014, which was a huge year for me. And I happened to have written in my journal every single day that year without thinking anything about like turning it into a book. And so now it's, it's becoming a much more intimate version of my blog, Raw Wanderlust, which if you're interested and you like reading my blog, I highly recommend you get a copy of my book when it's out because... It basically just delves so much deeper into my thought processes and into the details of what happened daily, daily throughout the entire year. 2015 was also a really big year, so I'm like, maybe I should, I should start thinking about that too. <laughs> start making a sequel, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I'm really, really excited to bring it to you guys. Because this project is so intimate and it's so personal, and I'm working on it every day, whenever I work on it, whenever I sit down to write or rewrite or edit or whatever, I'm... I'm like thrust into memory lane. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm reminiscing, I'm being nostalgic, and then I'm also like crying and being super happy. And I'm just, I'm re-experiencing all of my life from this year. I'm reliving it. And it's really intense. And it means that I, I really can't rush it. I can't rush this process. I have to go little by little, month by month, day by day, whatever. If this sounds like something that interests you, I'd love to hear your response and let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. And if if you're a reader of my blog, I, I love to connect with you guys. So please let me know um, what you think. I'm, I'm interested. If you like this video, go ahead and show me some love. You can like it. You can subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.